Hi guys, um, in this tutorial I would like to show you uh, how to utilize and use the uh, rule of thirds guide in DAS Studio. Uh, my name is Colm Jackson, I'm a 3D content creator for DAS Studio. Uh, you can see my products at www.daz3d.com slash Colm Jackson and um, let's hope you like them. So anyway, here we go. Um, a very quick tutorial here. Um, this um, render that I've got set up um, is quite nice. Um, I got the G3 female. She's sitting on some um, packing cases. Uh, I think they're made by i13. Um, so she's in the middle of the frame and looks quite nice. Here's um, a real-time render of, of what it really looks like. Uh, I've rendered it in monochrome. Uh, which is um, part of my next product, which will be out very soon at Daz Studio. Uh, how to render in monochrome and light to get that dramatic Hollywood look uh, from the 1940s and 50s, kind of film noir thing. Um, it looks quite nice uh, uh, where she is here in, in the middle of the frame. But if we turn on up here in this menu here, we have the thirds guide, it says show thirds guide just here. So pop that on and you get what's called the rule of thirds. This it comes from photography um, and it's used by photographers to compose photographs. Um, these points here in the middle, uh, the intersections of the lines are the main points of interest. And uh, if you're using the thirds guide, you should try and line up your main points of interest with some of at least some of those points so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to shift the scene uh so as she is just say her eyes are over this guide here and her legs are coming through this guide here and as you can see already in the uh rendered image there it's a much nicer composition let's see if we can bring this a little bit bigger um you get a, a, a nice space area here. Uh, we're particularly good for uh, promo artists because you can put text and titles of products there too. Um, but it's a much, much nicer composition, um, more natural than her having her right in the middle of the frame. Um, another thing uh, I'd like to show you is if we zoom in on this image, I actually have the uh, camera um, memorized so I'm just going to restore that uh, and show you again how the rule of thirds affects it in a more portrait fashion so here we have um, uh, she, she's much closer up here and the face here is going across this main intersection of the rule of thirds we could even move her down and maybe push her out just a little there, bring her eyes and her nose more into uh, into line with the intersection. And you just get a lovely composition uh, in your render. And again, you know, if you're a promo artist, you can put the titles of your product here and any information you need to, to show to potential customers. Well, that's it for the rule of thirds. Uh, I hope you learned something that you didn't know already in DAS Studio. Um, my name is Colm Jackson. I'm a 3D content creator at DAS. Uh, you can see my store at www.daz3d.com slash Colm Jackson. Don't forget, I have a Facebook page where I have other tips. Uh, I announce my tutorials. Um, so just press the like button on there and it'll come into your timeline. Same goes for my YouTube channel. Uh, if you subscribe, you'll uh, continuously be um, notified when I have a new tutorial video. Anyway, so I hope you have a great day and this is goodbye from me. Cheers.